Maybe your Xbox Series X is on its way to you, or maybe it's already home and the great hulking obelisk is standing tall next to your TV. Either way, there are quite a few tricks hidden inside the Xbox Series X, whether you've already set it up or are only just getting it out of the packaging. I've spent quite a while with the Xbox Series X, and from those hours of gawping at the paws of Gears of War 5's characters, or staring at the grass in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I've noted down 17 tips and tricks to let you get the most out of your Xbox Series X. Stuff like how to customise the controller, skip the hassle of trying to find your friends' parties, and make sure your capture and TV are calibrated properly to make your games look stunning on Microsoft's next-gen console. So, here's 17 Xbox Series X tips and tricks. If you've already set up your Xbox Series X, then this pointer is too late for you. But for those of you who still have it in the box or are thinking about getting a Series X, listen to me when I say you should download the Xbox app. It makes setup a ton easier and saves you the faff of typing in your login details using the on-screen keyboard and controller combo, which I do not have the patience for, especially when I get my goddamn password wrong repeatedly. Helpfully, the app also prompts you to activate options like remote features and choose your power settings, and in general, just makes your life a lot easier. Who wouldn't want that? As I mentioned in my review, the Xbox Series X is a Games Pass machine. Those of you getting the console must have a subscription to Games Pass because, one, it's great value, two, it's going to be very hard for you to run out of things to play, and three, the Xbox Series X makes games look utterly stunning thanks to the improvements it offers Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S enhanced games. To get the most out of your Xbox Series X, I'm going to recommend that you download Borderlands 3, Sea of Thieves, Gears 5, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, or Dirt 5, which are all enhanced for the next generation of consoles, and boy, you can tell. We've all been there. You're in a party with your friends, playing some Sea of Thieves, and there's always that one person who's a little too loud or a little too quiet. They try to fix it on their end, but it doesn't really help. Now you can bypass faffing around with asking them to change their mic's sensitivity to instead directly alter their volume in party settings on the Xbox Series X. Meaning, yes, you can mute them completely if the sound of their sea shanties is getting a bit too much for you. Though I can't imagine why that would ever be a thing, because sea shanties are just awesome. In the personalization settings of the Xbox Series X, you can change the colour of the dynamic background to the Xbox-approved colour palette, and make your profile more you with profile themes. As well as changing the colour of your profile, there's tons of themes to choose from too, which alter your background and make you feel that extra bit invested in your Xbox profile. Make sure to enable the remote features options in your settings too, which means you can install games to your Xbox from your phone, play games from your Xbox on your phone, access captures on your phone, turn on the console from your phone, and navigate through your console from your phone. As long as you have the Xbox app installed, which you really should for all of those reasons, you can do all of those things remotely. Yes, yes, I know, this is the wine aunt in me coming out with a rare display of sensibleness, but you should probably set a break reminder too so you don't inadvertently spend hours upon hours on your Xbox Series X. No matter how many pores you can see on the faces of Gears of War 5's characters, no matter how much you want to gaze at the stunning ocean physics and Sea of Thieves, and no matter how much you want to record just one more 4K clip for your social media. In the Preferences section of Settings, you can set a break reminder for various amounts of time. This won't interrupt you when you're chilling in the dashboard though, as it'll only gently nudge you to take a break when you're in a game. And then you can get a flashback to your childhood and say just five more minutes. Or ignore the break reminder because you're an adult and no one can tell you what to do. 
This is especially important if you've splashed out on a 4K or HDR TV to usher in the next generation of gaming. Make sure you calibrate your TV. In settings in the TV and display options, you can tweak the Series X to make sure it's running at the correct resolution for your TV, calibrate the HDR and calibrate your TV. The 4K TV details section is really handy too, as it shows you what your TV is capable of. So if you're like me and you forgot what exact type of TV you got two years ago, it'll do the heavy lifting for you. Yes, this one is self-explanatory, but here I go. Link your controller to your account. Then when you boot up the Series X, it'll sign you in automatically. Mighty handy if you ask me. Do you share your Series X or do you like to feel those good vibrations for certain games? If the answer to that is either yes or, oh god, why would you say that, but also yes, then I have good news. You can set up your separate controller profiles in the Series X, allowing you to switch between them so you don't have to faff with the in-game settings every time you start a new game. So you could play one game with inverted controls and the other with them off but the vibration on, whichever combination floats your boat. Most of you watching this will want to be able to play games without connecting to the internet, on the disastrous off chance that your internet balks up one day, or that you can't guarantee a good signal 100% of the time. Changing your Xbox Series X to be your designated home Xbox means you'll be able to play whatever you wish from your already downloaded library without having an internet connection. Sometimes it's a good idea just to unplug yourself from the internet for a while to give your mental health a break which this feature is perfect for. Or you might be taking your Series X with you on holiday far, far away from people and the internet, which I do not blame you for doing whatsoever. So you could just plug in and play without needing to worry about all that stuff. Look, no matter how I spin it, this is just a plain good idea to me. So I think it's worth doing. New console, new you, new guide. Yup, on the Series X, you can rearrange the guide, which is the menu that appears when you press the Xbox button on your Series X controller. You can rearrange the order in which the features go, but you can't remove any of them from the guide. So, I tend to switch between games often and capture bits of them, which means I want the guide homepage up first, then my capture with settings on the left of the guide, making it easier for me to nip into settings and fiddle with the Series X. Customize it however you want. It just helps to save precious seconds when you want to navigate quickly to your most used tab. Are you eyeing up games in the Games Pass library? I do not blame you. If you're a pick and mix kind of person, you'll be happy to know that thanks to custom installation, you can choose which bits of certain games to download first. Halo, the Master Chief Collection lets you do this, where you can choose which part you want to download first. Halo ODST, Halo Reach or the Master Chief Collection means you get to be playing the games you want to play far quicker instead of sitting around waiting for the whole thing to install, which is a big plus in my book. And I know for a fact that some of you watching this are as impatient as me. Don't lie, there's no judgement here. I don't blame you for wanting to show off your 4K 60 to 120 FPS game capture. Honestly, I don't. And you're able to do just that if you go into the capture settings and make sure your capture is set to record in 4K with either HDR or SDR. Perhaps you want to record it for posterity or to flaunt it on social media, but either way, you have an Xbox Series X. So I'd recommend boosting those capture settings all the way up to 4K, friend. Getting your capture from your Xbox Series X to your computer is a nightmare and a half, to be perfectly honest. But here's another reason for you to have the Xbox app downloaded to your phone. All the capture you grab on your Series X is linked to the app. So you'll have that capture available directly on your phone, which you can then post to social media or upload to your preferred cloud storage solution to download to your PC. Ah, oh, friends, I remember them. And if you have them on your Xbox Series X, there's now a much easier way to jump into parties and get playing a game together. In the Friends tab of your Series X, when friends are in a party or a game you're able to join, you'll see the Happening Now section pop up, 
which allows you to see what group activities your friends are up to without having to get them to send out invites and such. Easy peasy. Another one that's short and sweet? Go into settings and disable disc autoplay if you don't want the Series X to automatically run whichever disc you insert into it. Whether that's a game or a movie. That's it. That's the point. Finally, the Xbox Series X picks up exactly where you left off when you boot it back up after a long session of gaming. But sometimes you really want the Xbox Series X to fully shut down. For those times when you do, go to General, then Power Mode and Startup, and select Full Shutdown. Night Night Series X. See you at our next marathon gaming session. And that's 17 tips and tricks for the Xbox Series X. If you enjoyed the video, thanks very much, and don't forget to like and subscribe because we have new videos out every single day, so there's always something to watch. Now I'm off to go and stare at the ocean in Sea of Thieves on the Series X, so I'll see you next time.